Notice here we have four terms. I'm going to factor this by grouping. Let's group the first two terms and group the second two terms. Now the first two terms, what do they have in common? Well, it looks like they both have an M and they both have an N. So the GCF, the greatest common factor, looks like M times N. If you factor out an M and an N, what's left is M minus 1. You should always double check. MN times M is M squared N. MN times negative 1 is minus MN. Okay, now the second two terms doesn't look like they have anything in common. Well, in this case, there's always a factor of 1 in common. In fact, I'm going to use negative 1. If I factor out a negative 1 here, I'll be left with M minus 1. Now, just double check that. Negative 1 times M is negative M. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Okay, so that was the trick. Now we're going to treat this as a binomial. Something minus something. Now, what do these two terms have in common? Certainly, an M minus 1. So now, when I factor out the M minus 1, I have to say, all right, then what's left? Factoring out an M minus 1 of the first term, you're left with MN. And then the second term, minus 1. And there you have it, factored by grouping.